What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Bass, and y'all tuned in to another episode of Ian's Podcast. I'm going to go over my three reasons why I opened up a Chime bank account. And now, you know, that's my number one personal banking account. You know, I have a couple bank accounts, but my Chime bank account, I'm loving it. And here's the three three reasons why, and I'm going to go into detail. Um, the first one is convenience. The second one um the saving features uh the third one is mobile access so i'm gonna go into the first one you know we're gonna just start it straight up on the top um one of the thing i like about it uh was just convenience uh like if you if you travel or you know you in different areas all the time unless you banking with like a major bank um you're not gonna really have access to the atms to the bank branch if you're trying to utilize like those certain perks when they say like oh no atm fee or you know no uh check cashing fee or anything like that um you know uh that's where those banks come in handy and honestly i'm not really the one for business loans or personal loans and stuff like that like so i don't necessarily uh you know, see the need of having that be in my number one go-to bank. Um, so I was looking for something that was more convenient, um, but less of a hassle. Uh, then that's how I came across Chime. I seen them on, you know, social media, all that type of stuff. Somebody ended up sending me uh, like a little link to it and I ended up uh, getting a Chime, uh, um, Chime account. And then, you know, I was like, all right, I'm going to see what it's about. Log into it quick. It was quick and easy, uh, secure. Don't get me wrong, still secure. Uh, quick and easy, but it was secure. Um, and then the next, the next feature, as y'all can see, pulled up on my screen. I just been having this showing, and as y'all see, my seven account balance is at a dollar ninety. Yes, we're not here to brag or boast. We just talking about making the most out of your current circumstances. You feel me? Um, so, and the reason why I have the saving account balance pulled up was because I did not get this for a saving account. I got this for a checking account. But one of the best features that I did like about having a bank, uh, like a, a, a banking system like this is they got a roundup transfer. So at first, you know, when you seen like apps like Acorn, when they first came out, they had that roundup where I think they take. Yeah, Acorn. Uh, I got Acorn account too, but they take like basically like your money, uh, like loose change from like transactions, and they use that money and then they reinvest it into like a savings portfolio. But since you know I've been getting into stock and stuff like that, I'm like I kind of like having control over where I can you know invest my savings into, and I like to choose where I would do so instead of them like you know picking the portfolio based off of you know my my plan i like to be more hands-on but that's just me personally so i'm going into these are mine i understand y'all might be different y'all probably don't want to worry about that then that's where you know i understand you feel me but the whole feature just in general i like was that round up transfer feature you feel me so it just rounds up to the nearest dollar of any trend um of any transaction i might do you feel me using my debit card and it rounds up that change and puts it into my savings account Blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings. If you're a, one of those type of people who do not pay attention uh, to where you be swiping, you know, and you probably swipe a lot. Like if you're the type of person with that, that swipe a lot, basically. As y'all see, ever since I got the account and I got the card, I don't really swipe off this account because, you know, I just, I mean, you know, coronavirus, stuff like that. We ain't really spending no money. We just letting it just sit. <laughs> um, but in a sense, though, but when we do, we we're being mindful without even having to be mindful of where our sins are going. I know that all right, whatever change I have left over from this transaction is going into my savings account. You feel me? But at the same time, I'm not accessing my savings account like that. So it's just building up. Um, so thank I'm I, I ain't gonna say thank you because uh, individuals have been losing lives and putting their lives on the forefront. But due to you know one of the blessings or silver linings due to this whole coronavirus ordeal is um, not really spending money. Uh, but if I was to be spending money, you'll probably be uh, on this uh, on on this card. Um, you will see probably you know more more roundups. Um, but this is just where it's currently at. Um, and then 
the 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 second i mean i said the second the third the third reason why for me too um was also just due to the fact that the the, the mobile access um because it's, it's built you, you for me for the mobile and on the go type person basically like what you would call the new age millennials and all that type of stuff uh people that really live on the go on their phone all the time um it's really for that you know you could take a picture you know, take a picture of your check, which a lot of other banks do offer that feature. Take a picture of your check, then they, you know, they, they give you some, then it's the same thing. So for me, it was more so that that was a perk that it had those features. Like this was a must. Like I wasn't going to actually do this online. I like I wasn't going to mess with Chime if it didn't have them certain type of features. So then that way, when I'm on the go, I can just take a picture, boom. So then that I do like that they do have uh, being able to, to do that. But then you can also reload. Like, so say like, for example, you, when we was going back into, um, you know, banking, right? You in uh say uh, I'm in I'm in New York, for example, and my local bank isn't in New York, or I'm in a certain location, or 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 I'm in a rural city that don't got the major banks, they only got local banks. Um if it's ever any situation like that, is Chime got over what thirty thousand or is 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 it's it's a lot of different branches and stores, stores that they are affiliated with where you can go deposit money onto your card. For example, if you want to go to like a speedway or you know, speedway, like a gas station, for example. Like most small cities got gas stations, um, or major cities got gas stations, you know, like like certain uh uh superstores or supermarkets got it. Um, you know, just they're they're affiliated with enough uh big big commercial brands that you that you have that that access to make those deposits if you need to make cash deposits and then all you gotta do is just swipe your card boom 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 dang it, it, it's on there now there is a fee for that there is a small fee for that uh to make those type of deposits but honestly um shoot that's cool with me if that means i can make a deposit anywhere i want to go um at any time in any place, and I got access to my money at any time and at any place, and my money is saving money for me at any time and at any place. <laughs> um, so that's so then that's just more so the three perks for me. Um, I know everybody's situation is different. Uh, some people go to these banks to leverage the uh, just basically leverage the relationship of having a major bank. Uh, relationship, which means, you know, bank loans and things of that nature. I mean, you know, bank loans for cars, homes, you know, things of that nature, business. Um, and also, uh, you know, just things like that. Me personally, um, when it, when the time comes, you know, is leverage. I mean, I loaned you, you know, if you put yourself in a position, you know, saving, you putting your savings, right. I feel like, you know, credit wise, certain things that you can work on, you feel me to kind of leverage yourself when, whenever you go talk to anybody at a bank um and as long as you got those financial and financial documents too which is coming from like what we say like chime which is also an, uh, another bank financial institution that has you know uh they keep track <laughs> of every transaction they have those bank statements as well um yeah but don't get me wrong um on a on another podcast we'll talk more about how I invested into uh, actual banking institutions. I might not actually bank with them, but I did uh, invest in some of those major uh, bank institutions. But it's 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 a more story to the plot. That's neither here nor there. This episode was more so just talking about why I switched to Chime and what was you know the three benefits for me. And what were my reasons for doing it? Uh, yours may be a little different. Um, and if you have any of those reasons, I'd love to hear from you. Like I say. Uh, I ain't going to want to hold y'all up for too much longer. Uh, it's just me on here. So I love to hear y'all feedback, you know, comment um, or send us a voice message. The link will be in the description below. And I love to hear from y'all and have y'all featured in on the next podcast episode or either cover a topic or feature that y'all stated. Y'all know we love giving that info out, man. We love giving that value. We love exchanging those voices. So go ahead, reach out. You feel me? And we going to reach in. You feel me? And to that bag and see what tricks we can pull out for you. No matter if it's voice, uh, you know, no matter if it's just sharing your voice, no matter if it's having you featured on a podcast episode or sending you some free merch. But like I said, I'm going to talk your ear off. It's your boy Bash. Y'all tuned in to Ends Podcast and we out, baby.